Hello, welcome to another quarantine inspired yoga practice. Actually, it's not really quarantine inspired. I'd probably be doing this anyway. Um, I've been talking to some friends lately through the phone, of course, and uh, talking about how life for me hasn't changed all that much coming from China, feeling rather isolated there, not having too many friends or social connections, and then coming back home and being all amped up, like ready to hang out with people, ready to go out, ready to get a job here, and then it just all kind of dipped and it's all on pause again. Um, that's okay. I've had lots of time for projects, cleaning, cooking, yoga. Um, yeah. And I hope you guys are all finding good ways to spend your time. There's been ups and downs. There's days when I feel pretty at peace with it all, knowing that um, in some way or another, we're all going through changes right now. And I take some, some peace in that, just knowing that I'm not alone. I'm not the only person that's going through some weirdness. And then there's other days when I wake up I'm just gonna go back to sleep. Like, what am I doing? There's, there's nothing that I have to be doing right now. So I've just been like this push and pull, this up and down. Um, but mostly I've been finding, most days I find uh, a lot of solace in my yoga practice. So uh, today is going to be focused on balance. Um, and there will be some arm balances in that, and then also uh, balancing just on these guys, on the legs. Uh, and no matter where you're at, there's a lot of different options, whether um, you just do a standing balancing pose to kind of strengthen whatever limb you're balancing on so that your balance does get better. Because before balance, what we really need is strength. Um, so there's lots of options. Uh, you can take the balancing postures deeper than I am able, or you can uh, you know, edge off a little bit uh, and just work on strengthening. Um, anyway, we're going to first start, you can start at the top of your mat, facing forward. I'm going to face the camera right now. And I am I'm on my legs in a comfortable seated position. Um, whatever's comfortable for you right now, if you can do this, that's great. If you need to double up on your mat, go ahead and take that as well. And, you know, usually I just get right into things, but for now, let's just uh, find, find some stillness, find some peace. Uh, so let's begin with our eyes closed and uh, palms facing up, hands rested on our legs right out in front of us. Just take this time to begin connecting with your breath. And what that means is becoming fully aware of where the in-breath begins. Everywhere you can feel it move throughout your body. Where it ends. And as you exhale, really feeling the air leave your body. Noticing the rise and fall of the belly. Maybe the expansion of the chest. One thing we are all guaranteed to have in this life is breath. And no matter what, no matter how crazy, chaotic, how good, how funny, no matter where life can take us, we always can come back.
On your next inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead, reaching the fingertips up to the sky, pull the belly in. Exhale, let the arms fall to the side. Inhale, sweep them up. Maybe gaze lifts. You can still keep your eyes closed if you like. Exhale, bring the arms down, or you can open them. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, come down. Now, on your next inhale, sweep the left arm up and over and bring your right hand down to the right side. A nice lengthening stretch on the left side of the body. Inhale to come up to center and exhale to bring it back over to the left side. Inhale, center. Exhale, come over to the right. Move through these poses a few times on your own. Maybe you go a little bit faster than I am. Maybe you linger in the pose a little bit longer. Whatever you choose, enjoy it. <laughs> Be mindful of every movement that your body is making. You can feel my bones. <laughs> Come back to center. Maybe shrug up and down the shoulders a little bit. Uh, interlace your fingers. Inhale, push, uh, push the palms out in front of you. Where do we want to go? Okay, inhale, bring it up high. Reach the arms up, pull the belly in. Exhale, tuck the chin, bring the arms out in front of you, round the spine, inhale, reach up, exhale, come in, chin to chest, round the spine, arms out in front of you, inhale to extend, exhale to round. Inhale, exhale, right. so come to center, release the pose, shake it out a little bit. Now clasp your hands behind your back, reach your hands back, open up the shoulders, lift the heart and the chest up to the sky. And exhale, bend it forward, come fall over your legs as much as you're able. Arms come up and over the head. And just really sink into this pose. Maybe your head finds the ground ahead of you or your mat. Inhale to rise up, lift the heart, lift the chest, lift the chin, and exhale, release the hands, shake up the shoulders a little bit. Okay. Let's come to a tabletop formation, so pressing the hands into our mat, coming up on the knees, the tops of the feet are on the ground. Inhale, raise the right arm high, and exhale, thread it through to the left side, right ear, or right side of the head comes down to the mat. Perhaps you stay here, or maybe you reach your left arm up and over to the right side. And your left hand can find your right hip crease. Open up the chest a little bit more. Your gaze can look forward. 
Maybe at your fingertips or up to the sky. Whatever feels good. Don't force anything. Certainly not right now. Now is not the time to force yourself to do very much at all. Something to relax and know that everything is going to be okay. Inhale to bring the left arm over if you took the bind. Exhale to bring it down. Inhale, right arm high. Exhale, come back to your tabletop formation. Let's take it on the left side. Inhale, left arm raises up. Exhale, thread it through to the right side. Left ear comes down to the mat. If you took a bind on your other side, go ahead and take one now, bringing your right arm up and over to the left side. Taking the time to warm up and open up the shoulders and the chest because we are definitely going to use them in this practice. Inhale, right arm high if you took the bind. Exhale to plant your palm down. Inhale, the left arm high and exhale, bring it back down. If you shake out the hips a little bit, we're gonna do some cat cow. They can come back over here. So drop the belly, lift the chest and heart up to the sky. Exhale to round the spine. Chin comes into chest, cat pose. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest, cat pose. Move through this a few times on your own, taking whatever movements feel good. I like to kind of shift my hips back and forth a little bit. Shake my booty. When you're ready, come back to a neutral spine at our tabletop position. We're going to extend, um, extend our right hand, right arm out in front of us and extend the left leg out behind us. Uh, toes can be pointed or foot can be flexed, whatever you like. Now inhale to reach, exhale to kind of twist, reaching your right arm over to the left side, and your left toes come down to the right side. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bring your knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to twist. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, stretch it out one more time. Exhale, bring the hand and the knee down to the mat. Shake it out a little bit. Going to do the same thing on our opposite sides. So as we inhale, we reach our left hand forward, right foot, right leg extends behind us. Hold here for just a moment. Keep that belly nice and firm, tucked in. Inhale to reach. Exhale, twist. Left hand comes over to the right side. Right toes find the left side. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Nice and control. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, bring it in, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. One more time. Lengthen. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bring it down, tabletop position. Now, untuck the back toes, 
Push the hips up and back. We're coming into our downward dog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and pedal out the feet. Wake up those calf muscles. Hands are firmly planted into the ground, into your mat. Now inhale, come up to a plank pose. Gonna hold here for a little while. All muscles of the body should be engaged. Your fingers, your hands, wrists, they're all pressing into the mat. Forearms are nice and engaged. Triceps, biceps are firm. Quads. Everything is nice and engaged here, especially your core. Now we're gonna go through a modified chaturanga. And if you need to do this throughout the practice, that's totally okay, because we're gonna do quite a few of these. Go ahead and drop your knees at this point, bring the toes up. Won't make you suffer while I'm explaining this. Uh, but this is a nice way to kind of take some weight off of the wrists, off of the shoulders, if you're prone to inflammation or any type of shoulder or wrist pain, just modify your chaturangas throughout this practice. When we move through a vinyasa, this is a great way to do it. In fact, I'm gonna start doing this through more of my practices because I do get inflammation in my shoulders. So inhale to shift forward, exhale, bend your elbows, bring them tightly into the sides, uh, into your ribs. Coming down about halfway, Linger here for just a moment. Inhale to push back up. Exhale, shift the hips back and up. Downward dog. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, drop the knees, lift the toes, bend the elbows, come down. Chaturanga. Inhale to lift back up or push back up. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, drop the knees, bend the elbows, slowly come down. Inhale to push back up. Exhale, come back, downward dog. Two more of these, okay? Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, drop the knees, lift the toes. Come down, chaturanga. Inhale to lift up. Exhale, down dog. You got one more, you got this on your own, okay? Match every movement with your breath. Linger in down dog for just a moment while I take the time to get my hair out of my face. I was ambitious thinking that I wouldn't want to put my hair up. I'm using scrunchies now because <laughs> I'm trying to take better care of my hair. And man, it's, it's hard to make these things look good. Like the only one that has that problem, I don't know. Okay. So here we are in our down dog. Inhale to bend the knees, look forward. Exhale as you slowly walk up to the top of your mat. Take a halfway lift, inhale here. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, full Uttanasana. Forward fold over the legs. Now, if you want to take a generous bend in the knees to focus more on waking up the lower back, stretching that out rather than immediately opening up the hamstrings, that's just fine. Maybe you pedal out the legs a little bit and rock from side to side here. It's fully embracing this pose. No need to rush into it. Inhale, halfway lift, flat spine. I lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold over the legs. Now inhale to push up. Rise up, reach the arms up high. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, swan dive the arms down, plant the palms, step the feet back. Now, before we move through our vinyasa, go ahead and plant your right hand in the middle of the mat, feet come together, come onto the outside edge 
of your right foot. And we're going to come in to a side plank. Now, if you want to modify, you can bring your right leg down, just as I'm doing here, and your left foot stays planted, left foot is parallel to the uh, top and bottom of the mat. And you can bring your arm up overhead. If you want to do the full, full plank, here we go. Lift, bump the hips up. Maybe you bring your gaze up to test, <laughs> test your balance. And hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Go ahead and move through a vinyasa now. So we shift forward, exhale, come down to our chaturanga. If you'd like, you flip the tops of the feet, lift the heart and the chest up. Legs are off of the ground. This is our up dog, upward dog. Exhale, shift the hips back, down dog. Very nice. Now inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Maybe you hop or step to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to rise up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms come up. Reach the fingertips up to the sky. Exhale, let the palms step the feet back. Now this time, we're going to do a side plank on our left side. So left hand comes to the middle of the mat. Shift over to the outside edge of your left foot. Now again, you can modify it by bringing your left knee down to the ground or come to the full expression of the pose. Feet are together, hips bump up. We lift up high. Maybe you look up at that, that top hand and hold. For five, four, three, two, one. Slowly bring the right hand down, come to your regular plank pose, and move through a vinyasa. Again, if you want to drop the knees at this point, that's okay. You can always go straight to a down dog as well. Now we're going to have some fun. We're going to do three rounds of Sun B. I'm going to come up just a second so I'm not eating my shirt. We're going to go through three rounds of Sun Salutation B with a few extra add-ons. Um, and those are all, two of them are optional. You'll see what I mean. Okay, bend the knees, look forward. As you exhale, step or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, shift the hips back and down. Bring the fingertips up. Chair pose. Now go ahead and look down and make sure that you can see all 10 toes. If you can't, maybe shift the hips back just a little bit more. But be mindful of the curve that your spine is making. If you push your hips out too far, you're going to have a really strong curve in the spine. So go ahead and tilt, pull this in just a little bit. Be kind to the spine. Pull the belly in. Reach the arms up. Hold just a little bit longer. Warming up the quadriceps. Inhale to come out of the pose. Exhale to bring the hands down. Now maybe you move straight through a vinyasa or you can have some crow play. We're just going to move through it just for, for a moment and you'll get three chances to play. So you'll put your hands, plant your hands firmly in the mat. Perhaps you bring your knees to the back of your uh, triceps. Play with lifting one toe, then the other. See if you can get both of them off of the mat. And bring it down, move through your vinyasa. We're just playing, just trying, seeing what happens if we try. Inhale the right leg forward, coming up through the palms, plant the back foot to warrior one position. So it's at a 45 degree angle. We have heel to heel alignment. 
Arms reach up high, belly's tucked in. Inhale to lift up a little higher. Exhale, clasp the hands behind you. We're gonna do a humble warrior. Inhale to bring the hands back, opening up the chest and the heart. Exhale, melt over your right leg. Inhale, lift up. Heart reaches up to the sky. Exhale, come back down, humble warrior. One more time. Inhale to lift up. Hands pull behind you. Exhale to fold over the right leg. Inhale, unclasp the hands, reach the arms up high. Exhale, plant the palms down. Move through a vinyasa. Inhale, the left foot up through the palms, come up. Warrior one. Hips are square to the top of the mat. Arms and fingertips lift up, belly is engaged. Inhale one more time, lift up. Exhale, clasp the hands behind the back. Inhale to pull the hands down. Heart lifts up. Exhale. Come down, humble warrior. Inhale to lift up. Exhale to come down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, humble warrior. Inhale, unclasp the hands, fingertips lift up to the sky. Exhale. Plant the palms, step the feet back, move through a vinyasa. Take a few rounds of breath here. Settle into your down dog. Got two more rounds of Sun B, this time without our humble warrior, but we will still play with Crow. Inhale to bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, hop or step to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, raise the arms up, hips come down, chair pose. Inhale to rise up and out of the pose. Exhale to come down. Perhaps you move through your vinyasa or you can plant the palms, bend the knees, hips come into the back of the triceps. And come down. Vinyasa. Inhale to shift forward. Exhale, bend the elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, right foot steps up, plant the back foot. Inhale, rise up. Fingertips reach to the sky. On an exhale, hands come down, move through a vinyasa. Inhale, left foot steps up, plant the right foot back and down. Inhale, arms raise up to the sky, warrior one. On your next exhale, plant the palms, step back to your plank, move through a vinyasa. Usually, <laughs> this is, these are all very warming postures moving through the sequence. Um, and usually you do one breath, one movement. But because we're adding in our crow, our humble warrior, we're taking some time in these postures rather than rushing through them. On your next inhale, bend the knees, look forward, 
Exhale, hop your step in front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up, chair pose. Legs are nice and strong. Quadriceps hug into one another. Belly's firm. Inhale to rise out of the pose. Exhale, swan dive down. Plant the palms. Maybe you play with your crow last time. Play with bringing one foot off, then the other, and just seeing where that gets you. When you're ready, step back to your plank pose and move through your vinyasa. Inhale, step the right foot up, plant the back foot, come up, warrior one. Belly is firm. On your next exhale, plant the palms, step the right foot back, move through a vinyasa. Inhale, left foot steps up to the top of the mat. Bring the arms up, come up, warrior one. Lower belly is engaged, back leg is nice and strong. On your next exhale, frame the foot, step the left foot back, move through a vinyasa. Take a few cycles of breath here. Take a deep inhale in. Exhale through the mouth, let it go. I'm gonna go ahead and take this time to take off my sweatshirt. There we go. It has still been so cold in this house. Even though the sun is shining, it's colder inside than it is outside, which is actually a blessing. It looks really nice outside. Okay. Inhale, raise your right leg high. Exhale, bring your right knee to your right elbow. Inhale, raise it high again. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Inhale, right Leg rises, exhale, knee to chest, hold for three, for two, for one, inhale, right, raise your left, sorry, your right leg, exhale, step the right foot through, come up on the back toes, we're coming into our high lunge. Now this is a pose for me that is sometimes just difficult getting into as far as balance goes. It depends on the day. You will notice that my foot, I tend to walk on the outside edges of my feet. If I'm cold, I especially do this. And in yoga, I've had to, I'm trying to reteach my body, my feet to stand firm on all four corners. So if you see me constantly <laughs> wiggling to one side, it's because I'm always trying to Reteach my feet how to be feet. Now inhale, reach your arms up, fingertips up to the sky. On an exhale, you'll open up to the right side. And if you have trouble balancing here, really squeeze the inner thighs in together. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, open up. Inhale. Come to center, exhale, open up, inhale, center, and hold. Firm up the arms, pull the lower belly in, exhale, open up, warrior two. <sighs> Back foot is parallel with the back of the mat. Right knee is stacked over the right ankle. And 
fingers. Is <laughs> looking at the right fingertips. Feel nice and strong in this pose. It seems easy, but then once you start to linger in a certain pose for a while, it almost seems unmanageable, <laughs> but it's not. You got this. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Reach your right arm up and over. Exhale, bring the right fingertips down. Come into our side angle pose. Left arm comes up and over the left ear. And find length. You obviously have length in the left side of the body right now, but we don't want to be collapsing in our right side. So sometimes in our mission to reach our right fingertips down, we come all the way down and then just completely collapse there. So keep some length with both sides of the body. If you would like to, there's the option to go ahead and take a bind, reaching the right hand through um, and left arm up and over so the fingertips meet. We won't go into Bird of Paradise today, but I love that pose. Just opening up the shoulder girdle. Inhale, let's come back up to our warrior two. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Now, step your right foot to meet left. We're coming into another side plank. So right hand comes to the middle of the mat, feet come together, or you can modify it. Maybe you stay here, or maybe you play with raising your left foot just a little bit. Bumping the hips up. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come down, bring your left hand down into our regular plank position. Option to move through a vinyasa or go straight to down dog. If your breath has gotten away from you, take a moment to catch it. Make it nice and audible. Now inhale, raise the left leg up high. Exhale, bring left knee to left elbow. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to chest. Hold for three, for two, for one. Inhale, raise the left leg high. Exhale, step it through. Coming up on the back toes, raise the arms up high. High lunge. So really, take a moment to just feel engagement in all of your muscles, muscles, your feet, your calves, shins, quads, hamstrings, your core, shoulders, arms, fingertips, everything, top of the head. Everything is intentional right now. Everything has a purpose and it is all engaged. Inhale, reach up just a little bit higher. Exhale to open it up to the left side. Squeeze the inner thighs together. There you go. Inhale, come to center. Stay strong in that back leg. Exhale, open it up. Inhale, center. Exhale, open. Inhale, center. Exhale, last time open. Inhale, back to center and hold. You got it. Strong muscles, strong muscles. Exhale, open it up, warrior two. There we go. Hips are squared off to the open side of our body, whereas our gaze comes over the 
the front fingertips, in this case, the left fingertips. And it can be kind of hard to square off the hips, so keep them as squared to the open space in front of you as you can. My nose has been running constantly because of allergies, which is very concerning when there's a virus going around. Inhale, reverse your warrior, bring your left arm up and over to the right side. And exhale, left fingertips come down to our side angle pose. Remember, find length in the left and right side of your torso. You have a nice strong line coming from your fingertips, starting at your fingertips and ending down to the outer edge of your right foot. If you'd like to take a bind, you can go ahead and do so. Just keep that chest nice and open. Maybe your gaze lifts up to the ceiling. Maybe it looks down to give your neck a break. I do both. As long as I'm keeping openness in my chest. And inhale to come back up to our warrior two. And exhale, bring your hands back down to frame the left foot. Left foot meets right. Bring your left palm to the center of the mat and come up to our side plank. Perhaps you modify it, perhaps you stay here, or maybe you play with lifting the top leg, bumping those hips up just a bit. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come down. Bring the right hand down to the mat. Move through a vinyasa. Come back to your breath. When you're ready, inhale to raise the right leg high. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to opposite elbow. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to chest. Hold for three, two, one. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, step it through. Come up on the back toes, coming back to our high lunge. Now inhale, left arm comes under the right. Your left fingertips find the right palm. Press the arms in together, nice and strong eagle arms. And when you're ready, come off of the back toes. Bring your left foot, left leg, up and around the right. Now it could be, this is a new pose for you. You just bring the left, left foot, um, just barely up and over to the right, wrapping around the right side, or, you just bring it around as much, as much as you possibly can, kind of wrapping the left leg around your right. Maybe your left toes find the back of your right calf. Wherever you are, press all your limbs together and be sure that your hips aren't twisting one direction or the other. Center them up, center them off, and maybe you Sink the hips even deeper. Now, come out of the pose. 
I'm gonna shake off, shake off my uh, my ankles a little bit. My feet, uh, they, I have ankle pain if I balance on one leg for too long. But we're going into our warrior three. So begin to unwrap the arms, lift up the left leg, extend the arms, extend the left leg behind you, lengthen the spine, reach, warrior three. Really pull in the lower belly here. If you fall out of the pose, if you, need, if you have blocks and you need to come down to your mat, for stability, that's okay. This is a really, this is one of my favorite postures, but it takes a lot of strength. It takes a lot of balance. Maybe you wanna keep your hands at heart center. Maybe you cactus them out or fly them out like an airplane. Whatever helps you stay in this pose. And when you're ready, exhale, bring the hands down. We're gonna kiss standing splits for just a moment. So reach the left leg up high and exhale, bring left foot to meet your right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift one more time. <laughs> I had to remember where we were going. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, come down to Dasana Mountain Pose. We're gonna go into Tree Pose. Um, so shift the weight into your right leg. And um, option one is to bring your left, left ankle to right ankle. Bring, option two, bring left foot onto your left, your right shin. Or option three, bring your left foot into over to your right thigh and push the thigh and the foot in together for some extra stability. What you don't want to do is put your foot on your knee because that can result in injury. Hands can be at heart center or they can come up to the sky. This is a great way to strengthen and to balance. Even here, I'm pretty good with my tree pose, but my foot is constantly shaking because um, again i'm trying to retrain retrain my foot to use all four corners of the foot to stand exhale drop the arms foot comes down settle out the feet a little bit i'm going to try our dancer's pose um, and we're going to take some weight off of the right foot coming onto the left foot now so shift the weight into the left foot Right arm, right hand comes down to the side, palm facing out. Bring your right foot up to meet your palm, uh, grabbing it like a little saddle. Left arm comes out in front. Um, or no, bring your left arm up high. Now as you kick your back foot, so your right foot, um, as you kick it into your hand, your body will naturally start to tilt. And your left hand will come down. Don't try to tilt first, let the kicking motion do the work. And if you fall out of this pose, it's okay. Gracefully try and get back into it. Just try again, begin anew. Really helps to find a focal point, either in front of you or perhaps down, usually in front, one that's not moving. Call it your drishti, your focus. When you're ready, come down. Settle off the feet. Let's go ahead and inhale. Sweep the arms up and overhead. Exhale, come down. Let's move through a vinyasa. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, step it through. Come up on the back toes. Reach the arms up, coming into our high lunge. Good. 
Now on an inhale, right arm comes underneath the left, right fingertips find the left palm. Press everything in together, arms squeeze together, hands squeeze together. Step off of the back foot. Bring your right foot, right leg up and over the left. Be mindful of the hips, that they're not splaying out to the right or to the left side, but keep them centered. Find a focal point. When you've found your balance, perhaps you begin to sink the hips down deeper. Don't forget to breathe. Now when you're ready, come out of the pose, unbind the legs, begin to push or send your right leg back behind you, reach the arms forward, lengthen the spine, warrior three. Use your core. Find a counterbalance with the arms and the leg. Zip the belly up. And when you're ready, exhale, bring the hands down. Kiss standing splits for just a moment. Raise the right leg high. And exhale, right foot meets left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Linger here for just a moment because it feels good. And on an inhale, sweep the arms up high. Exhale, arms come down to the sides, Tadasana. Now, let's do tree pose. Uh, balancing on our left leg. So again, um, option one, bringing the right foot to right ankle. Option two, to the shin. Option three, bringing it up to the left thigh. Maybe hands come to heart center. Maybe they reach up. Maybe your gaze reaches up. I'm not there yet. I am sometimes, but I always fall out of it, and that's not what I'm going to do today. <laughs> Wherever you're at, take a moment to just feel strong and fierce, feeling all of the energy coming from the floor, into your feet, from the sky, coming into your fingertips. Feel strong as you are. On an exhale, bring the hands down, place the foot down, maybe pedal out the feet a little bit. We did dancers on our left side, Last time, so let's shift the weight into our right side now. Uh, left palm comes down to the side, palm facing out. Bring your left foot up into your palm. Inhale, uh, right hand comes up to the sky, and as you exhale, push your left foot into your left hand. And as you push, you'll begin to naturally tilt forward. I always shake in this pose. It's okay. My dancer's pose is much better than it was one year ago, five years ago. Five years ago, it's like non-existent. Inhale to come up and exhale. Shake it off. Inhale, raise the arms up high. Exhale, swan dive down. I have to walk it out <laughs> to get to my plank. Move through your vinyasa. Just a moment here, take a few cleansing breaths. Inhale deep, exhale out the mouth. One more time, deep inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. 
Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, step it through. Plant the back foot parallel to the back of the mat. Come up, warrior two. Then we're gonna go into Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. Um, so we're gonna come off of the back foot and bring our right fingertips either down to a block, if you have them, or down to the mat. Um, and we're leaving the left side of our body nice and open up to the left side. So a little lift off of the back foot. Bring the right fingertips down. Maybe your gaze stays down on the floor. Um, if you're having trouble reaching, I definitely recommend a block or something that can act as a block for your right hand to grasp on. And when you're ready, begin opening up to the left side. This is forever a challenging pose for me, but I've gotten so much better at it. I love this pose because it's challenging. And it just sounds so nice. Half moon pose. Maybe your gaze comes up, up. When you're ready, inhale, come back up gracefully to our warrior two. Exhale, uh, bring the ankles in to face one another. So bring the feet in just a little bit. Um, bend, bend the knees, coming into almost like a sumo squat position. I know this as horse, um, but I have also heard that it's goddess pose which is nice, goddess pose, uh, but sink your hips down. You're going to instantly feel your legs burning. Hands come up to the sky, but leave your hips sinking. Exhale, bring them down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, arms down, belly's nice and firm. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands come down. One more. Sink the hips even lower. Inhale, reach up. Hips are shaking. Exhale, bring the hands down. Ah, lengthen the legs. Inhale. Now, bring your feet in towards one another. Maybe heel toe the feet out just a little bit. We're going to come into a wide-legged forward fold. Um, so you can keep your hands on your hips as you come down or there. You can, you can bring the hands clasped behind you and slowly begin to come down between the legs. I'm going to turn this back around just because my feet are slipping on the floor. There we go. Maybe you find that you can bring your head down. You want to bring your hands down to the ground. That's okay too. Maybe hands find your feet, your ankles. Breathe into this pose. When you're ready, Unclasp the hands, bring the fingertips to the floor. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, come down. Now, as you inhale, pivot to the right foot. Um, coming into like a low, a low lunge. Hands plant, uh, hands surround the, they come on either side of the right foot. Bring your right foot to meet left. We're doing our last side plank. So come, come on to the outer edge of your right foot. Left arm reaches up to the sky. Now we've got our options. You can modify, you can lift a leg, or you can take your tree pose stance with your legs. Bump those hips up and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, bring your left hand down, feet come down to the ground, move through a vinyasa.
Pedal out the feet for a moment. Inhale, raise the left leg high. Exhale, step it through. Back foot comes down parallel to the back of the mat. Come up, warrior two. I'm actually going to turn because I don't want to do half moon facing the wall. Okay, when you're ready, begin to come off of the back foot. Reach the left arm forward and down for our half moon pose. Fingertips find the block or the ground. And right side of the body begins to open up. Maybe gaze comes over to the right side. Breathe. You fall out of it, it's okay. If you shake, that's okay. Just let your body settle into wherever it is now. When you're ready, step it back. Come back to our warrior two, nice and graceful. Now, bring, bring the ankles Back to face one another, bring the feet in just a little bit. Coming back to our horse goddess pose. Sink the hips in. We're just gonna hold it here, okay? For five, four, three, two, sink deeper, deeper, chest lifts, belly's tucked in. Hold it, hold it, hold it. One, inhale, come up. And exhale, bring the arms down. Let's come into one more wide-legged forward fold. So bring the toes now, ankles come out, toes turn into one another. Inhale to find length. Exhale to swan dive down. Move my feet up just a little bit more. Maybe your hands find your ankles to pull you deeper into the pose. Or you can bring your hands through through the opening, reach them back towards what for me is the wall. Really, in this pose, try and pay attention to where the weight is in your hips. If your hips are shifting back, try and put more of the weight into your toes. When you're ready, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Now inhale, inhale, come to your, come around to your left foot. Hands frame the left foot, left foot meets right. Move your right hand into the center of your mat. Our last side plank of the day. Okay, again, you can modify, you can stay here, you can lift your leg, or extra bonus, come into your tree plank. I'm not actually sure if that's what it's called. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna call it. Hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Lift up and out of the pose. Come into your plank, inhale to shift forward, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. I'm going to turn it back around. Now inhale, bend the knees, step the feet forward. Let's come down. Um, bring the bring the feet out hip width a little bit li well, bleh, a little bit wider than hip width distance. Sink the hips down. We're coming into our Malasana Yogi Squat Pose. So feet are angled out, knees are wide and open. Elbows find the knees, push them open for some extra leverage. <sighs> Just sink, sink. 
sink nice and deep into this stretch. We're almost done with our work. I promise it's going to get better. It's, it's been good. It's been a great practice. <sighs> what do we want to do? Um, okay. So, you know what? First, I'm going to step back just a little bit. Um, we'll do this now, and we'll also do it after our last arm balance. Um, go ahead and flip the tops of your hands down onto the mat. And you'll notice as soon as you apply some pressure, you're going to feel a bit of a stretch here um, right on your wrist. So just be mindful of that. If it hurts, um, you, know, you should feel a pretty good stretch, but you don't want it to hurt. So maybe you just play with rocking slowly back and forth slightly, um, just seeing how that feels. Uh, we'll spend more time with this in just a bit. But just uh, give our wrists a little bit of a break. Maybe wiggle out the fingers a bit. Um, come down on your sit bones, legs out in front of you. Um, let's bring the left foot into the inner right thigh. Find length in the spine. Inhale, reach the arms up high. Exhale, um, fingertips begin to walk towards the right foot. Find length first before immersing yourself into this pose. So let's inhale, find some length, and exhale. Begin to walk your hands and your torso slowly towards that right foot. Maybe this is all you can do. Go as far as you can to your edge. Um, and if you can begin to sink deeper over your leg, go ahead and do so. Wherever you are, just live in it for now. And inhale, walk the fingertips back up. Go ahead and extend your left leg to meet your right. And bring your right foot into your torso. And let's kind of cradle this right leg like a baby. Rocking it back and forth, getting it ready for a nice little fun exercise. Um, we're about to do this. Not actually sure what the what the name of it is. I should have looked that up, but it's like a figure figure eight. Um, I call it like a pretzel pretzel balance pose, um, and you'll see why. So again, don't. Please don't be intimidated by what this pose will look like or by what we're doing. Just do what your body can do because um, every step gets you closer to being able to do the full expression and it's opening up your body and it's strengthening your body. So you will surprise yourself. I've been surprising myself and what my body can do for years now, um, especially with this pose. So when you're ready, begin to lift your left, your right foot up, your right leg. Um, and gently uh, bring your right leg up and over your right shoulder as much as you're able to. If you can only get it here, that's fine. Just kind of play with it. See what you can do without yanking or pulling. Um, I can get my leg up there, but it doesn't stay. It drops down eventually. I'm going to plant my right hand and kind of tilt my body back as I bring my left foot up and over my right, okay? Now again, I'm off the shoulder, and that's okay. I'm gonna go back to those nice chaturanga arms that we've warmed up throughout our entire practice today. I'm gonna plant my hands just like I would in that pose, and I'm gonna shift my body forward and begin to reach my legs out to the side. <laughs> Now, when I first did this a year ago, I had never even seen this pose. You can come down, you can keep trying, you can play with, play with your pose as much as you want. But when I first tried that, I was doing a yoga video and I was watching this woman, I'm like, no way. And I could, you know, I could kind of like get some lift off, but no way could I extend my legs at all. And I just kept, honestly, I didn't even try practicing with this pose that much. I just kept doing yoga 
and doing a lot of chaturangas and other arm balances pro. And one day I just watched as my legs started to go out to the side and I was able to maintain the pose. And of course it's not perfect by any means, but it's a year later, not even a year later, and I'm so much better at that pose than I used to be. So it can happen. Okay, where are we? Legs are out in front of us now. If you're still trying that pose, then um, let's come back to center. And let's go ahead and bring our right foot into our left leg, left inner thigh. Inhale the arms up high. Exhale to bring them down and find length in the spine and the torso as you walk the hands towards your left foot. Spine length first, inhale here. And exhale, begin to come down over your left leg. Maybe your fingertips grab your left foot. Whatever the edge is for you, find it and settle into it. Okay, and inhale, you can just slowly walk your fingertips back towards the body. Shake out your hair. <laughs> and uh, extend your right leg out. Bring your left leg in and cradle it like the baby. And you may find that one side is completely different. Um, and a lot of Actually, arm balances where legs are also involved. I'm totally different on one side than I am the other. So we'll see what this side looks like. I'm gonna begin bringing my left leg up and over my left shoulder. I'm gonna plant my left hand down on the mat. Um, lean back, because if I go forward, my leg's just gonna fall. So I lean back, bring my right leg up and over, and I kind of lock my feet together so that they have uh, leverage together. Okay, uh, plant the palms down, chaturanga arms, shift the body forward, and begin moving my legs out to the side as I, my chest comes further down and closer and closer to the ground. My arms are super strong and engaged, core is engaged, I'm wiggling. <laughs> Slowly come down. Yes. Um, and just keep playing with it. It's uh, poses that I find that I can't do. It makes me want to do them even more. Um, as long as it feels good. There's a few poses that I just flat out don't like, but still should do them because there's probably a reason you don't like them. Let's come uh, to a reverse tabletop position now. So we bring our feet in closer to our sit bones, um, about hips width distance from one another. Fingertips uh, come in towards the body. Uh, so palms are on the mat, fingertips are in towards the body. Go ahead and lift the hips up. Oh yes, sink the head back and down. Lift those hips up, find a nice stretch in the front side of the body, but also I love this stretch for my shoulders. <sighs> and relish in this pose. Yes. <sighs> Ready, and then exhale, bring your hips down. <sighs> Come on, come to our back. Time. That feels good. <laughs> Just this feels nice. Okay, bring your knees in uh, into the body and tee your arms out to the sides. Maybe I um, like to shift my hips over just a little bit. I'm going to shift, bump them over to the left side so that I can bring the knees up and over to my right and find a better stretch that way. 
Gaze comes over to the left. And just breathe into this nice, gentle hip twist. Inhale the knees back to center. You can bump your hips over to the right just a little bit. And then on an exhale, bring the knees up and over to the left side. And your gaze goes over to the right. Inhale the knees into the chest, into center. All right, let's go ahead and take happy baby. So open up your feet just a little bit. Your hands come in from the, uh, the insides of the feet. Fingertips, fingertips grasp the outsides of the feet. And maybe you just play here a little bit. It's a very silly looking pose, but it does feel good. You can rock from side to side. I like to play with extending one leg oh, and kind of lingering there for a moment. You'll feel, you should feel a really deep stretch in that hamstring. Then I'll bend that knee and extend oh, the other leg. My left leg is always, oh, it's always uh, way more resistant to this than my left. Bring that knee in, and then I extend both of them. And then you'll feel a deep stretch in your inner thighs, um, inner hips, both hamstrings. Just really great. <laughs> really silly looking, but fun. And when you're ready, bring the knees in. Give yourself a little hug. Thank yourself for your practice. Thank yourself for your body. Reach the arms up overhead. Stretch the legs out. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And come in to our final pose, Shavasana. My feet come to the outer edges of the mat. Um, tops of the hands find the mat so the, uh, your palms are facing the sky, and maybe you walk your shoulder, blade, your shoulder blades down just a little bit to find some length um, and openness in the chest. And then relax the breath if you haven't done so already. And take a moment just to bask in the glory of all that you've accomplished today, even if it's just this practice. It's not just this practice. You did something very good for your mind and your body in, um, in a time where it's really easy to kind of get swallowed whole by all these doubts and these questions. And, and here you are on your mat, finding a way to make some light of what could be a very dark and dreary situation. moment to relish in all that you've created, all that you do have to be grateful for. And maybe you take a moment to offer some love and gratitude for everyone else in this world that's going through very similar mind-boggling things right now. Continue to stay in this pose for as long as you'd like. 
I'm going to end my practice here. So take as much as you need. Relish in this pose. Thank you for being a part of my teaching and my practice. Namaste.